Well, it's every breeder's goal, really, to breed a Derby winner. And the great thing about it is there's only one each year. And so there's, um, everybody is trying as hard as they can. There's, a, there's an awful lot of factors go into it. And if I knew all the answers, I would be doing it myself. Let's bear that in mind. But um, you have to have the right mare for a start. The stallion is very important. So Cape Cross, Golden Horn, new approach, another derby winner standing here. These horses are hugely important in the planning. And the breeder who has the mare that can produce a derby winner is, has got a good start. The farm, the foal is raised on, incredibly important. Golden Horn himself raised at Mr. Oppenheimer's Hask Haskam and Valiant stud. How he's reared, how he's trained, how he's ridden, all these things are variables that can go into producing this elusive derby winner. There are many things about Golden Horn which make him stand out. Uh, physically, his appearance, he has got the most wonderful head, he's got the most incredibly honest eye, and he's a very, very well put together racehorse. He's got very sound limbs, he's very, very well balanced, and there are many reasons why he, he acted down the hill at Tattenham Corner, and I have every hope that he will pass some of those traits on to his sons and daughters. Well, there were many reasons why we were so keen to get Golden Horn to come to us. And primarily, he was a brilliant racehorse. You know, he was the highest rated three-year-old on turf in the world last year. He won the derby in emphatic style. He's by our own Cape Cross, who also stands under our Dali banner. I think the big stage requires a special temperament in any sphere, and the derby is no different. And there's a, as you say, there's a lot of people and there's a lot of opportunities for a horse to boil over. And Golden Horn handled it impeccably. And I hope that he passes that on.